Hi, I'm Uri Stemmer, and this is a joint work with Chaim Kaplan, Ishai Mansour, Shai Moran, and Kobi Nisim. And the one-line summary of what I want to tell you is that we present a new model for private online classification together with a new algorithm that allow, allows us to obtain significant improvements compared to what is known in the standard model for private online classification. So before I tell you about the new model and new results, let me first tell you uh, or recall what is the standard model for private online classification. So in the standard model, uh, we assume that there is some concept class C over a domain X, and we consider a tier round game between a learning algorithm and an adversary, where in every round, the adversary first specifies a point. We respond with a hypothesis that should be able to predict the label of that point, and then the adversary tells us what the true label is. This goes on for T rounds, and what we want to guarantee is that assuming all of the labels given by the adversary can be explained by some valid concept from the class C, we want to guarantee that the number of mistakes we make throughout the execution is small, meaning the number of time steps at which the hypothesis we give out fails to correctly classify the point, the corresponding point, is small. Okay. So that's the utility requirement. What is the privacy requirement? The privacy requirement is that we want to ensure that the vector of all hypotheses we release throughout the execution is differentially private. What this means is that if you were to change one labeled example specified by the adversary, then that should not change by much the outcome distribution of all of the hypotheses we release. In this model, Golovich and Livni showed that for any class C, there exists a, not necessarily efficient, but there exists a private online learner with error at most doubly exponential in the little stone dimension of the class C times root t. And furthermore, this root t can be improved to log t whenever the adversary is non-adaptive. But in this talk, we consider the adversary to be adaptive. So first, this error should be contrasted with the non-private error, which is known to be d, not doubly exponential in D. And another remark is that if you think about it, this privacy model is very conservative. In particular, if this learning algorithm uh, wants to maintain some large language model and to base its predictions based on this large language model, then that definition would require us to privatize all of the huge large language model we, we maintain uh, together with all of its tons of parameters, which might be very hard. Okay, so what happens in the new model we propose in this work? The change is that instead of releasing a hypothesis, a complete hypothesis or a complete model in every iteration, we only return the predictions. So the adversary still gives us a data point in every round. We respond with just one bit, what we think is the predicted label of that point, and then the adversary tells us the correct uh, label. And this, again, goes on for T rounds. And the utility requirement stays roughly the same. Assuming that we are in the realizable setting, we want to guarantee that the number of uh, mispredictions we make is small. So that basically stays the same. The privacy definition requires a little care. And in particular, as a first attempt, we might try to say, OK, what we want is that the vector of all predictions we give out to be differentially private with respect to our inputs uh, but if you were to think about it for just a little bit, you would see that that's a no-go and, and that attempt is too strong. What we do in this work, we require that if you were to change the i-th labeled example given by the adversary, then that should not change by much the outcome distribution of all of the predictions we give out, except for the i-th prediction. And intuitively, this makes sense because of course, of course, you want the i-th prediction to depend on the i-th point, right? Um, and I'll just remark that the actual definition is more complex because we want to capture adaptive adversaries, and our definition is based on uh, definitions presented by two prior works. So in this new model for private online classification, we show an efficiency-preserving transformation from non-private online learning to private online learning, where the error is only d squared times log uh, squared t, which is better than 2 to the 2 to the d times root t. That's it. Thanks.